Shalom everyone, Kazakh Eliyahu, and welcome to another of our videos. In our previous video, we looked at whether or not we are the seed of our fathers, and something came up, the seed of the woman in Genesis 3, 15. So we are going to be looking today to see what exactly does it mean? Who or what is the seed of the woman in Genesis? Genesis 3.15. In Genesis 3.15, it speaks of the seed of the woman. Who or what is the seed of the woman? What does the word say? And this today should be very easy to prove. Probably one of the easiest things to prove. And this verse is so misunderstood. But we have to slip a video in there about it because it has um, diverse consequences as it comes to the um, seed of the father, the seed of the man, and also as it comes to the understanding about the virgin birth. So Genesis 3.15 says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. A very complicated puzzle here. Enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed seed and her seed. So many people believe that this seed is Hamashiach. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. And when I was in Christianity, that's what I thought. Until you come upon this verse. The book of Revelation 12. Enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. And the end explains the beginning, and the beginning explains the end. So to understand what happened in the beginning, we have to see what is going to happen in the end. And Revelation 12.12 12 tells us, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. <coughs> so we're going to see the enmity between the serpent and the woman. Because... When the woman came down, verse 13 says, And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man-child. So this is the enmity between the serpent and the woman. So let's see what the woman, who the woman is or what the woman is, because the woman brought forth the man-child. The man-child is Yahushua Mashiach. Therefore, we're going to see the seed that was persecuted. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness in her, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent between whom the Most High put enmity with the woman. So who or what is this woman that was given wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness? How we know it is prophesied that the nation of Yasharal will go through the second exodus in the wilderness. In the scripture, woman is used to refer to Yasharal, Israel, or it is used to re refer to uh, an unrighteous religious order. As in the book of Revelation, when it tells you about the woman upon the scarlet colored beast, all right? So this woman that the serpent is going to be against, it's Yasharal. And we're going to see. In verse 15 it says, And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that she might cause her to be carried away of the flood. So Yasharal, being led away into the wilderness, the serpent that the Most High put enmity between her and Yasharal, the serpent now casts water after the woman. Verse 16 says, And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out, cast out of his mouth. The dragon does not give up because this is the enmity between Satan and the woman. And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Problem solved. Right there. I will put enmity between thy seed and her seed. And here we get what her seed does. 
which keep the commandments of Allah and have the testimony of Yahushua Mashiach. This is not referring to Yahushua Mashiach. This is referring to the children of Yasharal. Her seed is the seed of Yasharal. People. All right? So this is what it means in Genesis 3.15 when the enmity is put between serpent and the woman. The woman is Yasharal. The seed of Yasharal are the remnant in the end who will keep the commandments of Allah. That's just what it is. All right? But anyway, the question has been answered. The seed of the woman, who are what is the seed of the woman? That is Yasharal, that it is referring to. And in the end time, as now, Satan is now battling with the seed of the woman, casting out rivers of floods from her mouth after the woman, casting out her evil spirits, evil rockoth after the woman, and causing the woman not to want to go into the wilderness. All right? So, this is Kazak Aliyahu Yasharal. Thank you once again for watching. And until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and comment please on our videos. Until next time, Shalom.